Is it time to buy or sell SOXL ETF? In this video, we will delve into the details of SOXL. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, the 21st of August, 2024, and we are now prepared to offer you a more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and activate the notification bell to stay informed about our latest analyses. You certainly do not want to miss any critical updates that may affect your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by exploring our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, available at stockinvest.us. Harness the power of AI and receive a complimentary price prediction and in-depth analysis for any one of 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please keep in mind that this video is intended for informational purposes only and should not be interpreted as financial advice. Since the 21st of August, 2024, our system has categorized SOXL as a hold or accumulate, assigning it a score of 0.14. Now, let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. The stock has experienced natural fluctuations, but it currently reflects a loss of 0.00% since our initial hold or accumulate recommendation. The exchange-traded fund is situated within a broad and declining trend in the short term, indicating further potential drops ahead. The current three-month trend points to a possible decrease of approximately 27.91% over the next three months, with a potential return ranging from negative 60.95% to negative 0.11%. Examining the 12-month trend, it suggests an increase of 104% over the next year, with a possible return between 35.44% and 257.44%. This implies a price range between $56.52 and $149.16 and after one year. Our latest daily update for SOXL features the headline, SOXL ETF upgraded from sell candidate to hold accumulate after Wednesday trading session. The SOXL ETF price increased by 4.09% on the last trading day, which was Wednesday, the 21st of August, 2024, rising from $40.09 to $41.73. During that trading day, the ETF fluctuated by 5.03%, reaching a low of $40.33, and a high of $42.36. The price has risen in six of the last 10 days and has increased by 59.15% over the past two weeks. Volume decreased on the last day by 844,000 shares, with a total of 82 million shares bought and sold, amounting to approximately $3.4 billion. It is important to consider that falling volume alongside rising prices can indicate divergence and may serve as an early warning of potential changes in the coming days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $70.08, while the lowest price was $14.01. Currently, the price stands at 40.45%, or $28.35, below the 52-week high, an 88.97%, or $336.51, below the all-time high reached on the 26th of November, 2020, when the price peaked at $378.24. Recent developments surrounding SOXL, the semiconductor leveraged exchange traded fund, highlight a complex landscape influenced by various market dynamics. Following a significant drop of approximately 52% since mid-June, caution has been advised regarding SOXL. While it previously experienced remarkable gains, its performance has suffered amid broader market volatility, particularly due to the unwinding of the yen carry trade. This scenario presents heightened risks for investors, suggesting that SOXL might be best approached with caution in the short term. Despite these challenges, the semiconductor sector especially with the growing role of artificial intelligence, remains a focal point for investors. There is optimism that a rebound in semiconductor stocks, including key players like NVIDIA, 
could provide Soxel with an opportunity to leverage its target three times factor, particularly if these stocks maintain a continued upward trend over several weeks. Furthermore, the recent influx of capital into leveraged exchange-traded funds indicates a sustained interest in this sector, which may support Soxel's recovery trajectory. However, the implications of market volatility and the risks associated with inverse movements in semiconductor stocks should be carefully monitored. The following signals have been identified for SAW-XL. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, August 7, 2024, and so far it has risen by approximately 59.15%. Further increases are expected until a new top pivot is established. Additionally, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. However, volume declined during the last trading day, despite rising prices. This discrepancy between volume and price may serve as an early warning sign. The ETF warrants close observation. Some negative signals have also emerged, which could influence short-term developments. The Soxel ETF currently holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, However, the long-term average indicates a general sell signal. Given that the long-term average is above the short-term average, this presents a more negative forecast for the stock. Should the ETF continue to rise, it will encounter resistance from the long-term moving average at $45.40. Conversely, if it falls, support will be found at $39.04 from the short-term average. A breakout above the long-term average would generate another buy signal, while a drop below the short-term average would reinforce the sell signal and strengthen the overall negative outlook. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal, pivots, buy signal 11 days ago, Bollinger, buy signal 90 days ago, short-term moving average, buy signal 10 days ago, long-term moving average, sell signal 27 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 24 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal 6 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 22 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 12 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to discover more signals. Let's discuss support, risk, and stop loss for SOXL. SOXL finds support from accumulated volume at $39.78. This level may present a buying opportunity, as an upward reaction can be anticipated when this support is tested. This exchange-traded fund is known for its significant daily movements and is classified as very high risk, particularly given the large prediction interval indicated by the Bollinger Band. Over the past day, the ETF fluctuated by $2.03 between its high and low, which is equivalent to 5%. In the last week, the ETF has experienced an average daily volatility of 7.58%. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for SOXL. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for SOXL is at $44.39. If you do not own any shares, it may be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before making a purchase. For those who already hold the stock, this could serve as a potential point for swing trading. On the downside, SOXL finds its first support level at $39.78. If this support level remains intact, it could present a favorable entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $40.36, reflecting a decrease of 3.28%. This exchange-traded fund experiences significant daily fluctuations, indicating a high level of risk. A buy signal has emerged from a pivot bottom identified 30 days ago. Is SOXL ETF a good buy? SOXL holds several positive signals, but these signals alone do not provide enough justification for a purchase. At this time, it is best considered a hold candidate, meaning investors may wish to hold or accumulate shares while awaiting further developments. 
Our analysis conclusion for this ETF has been upgraded since the last evaluation, changing from a sell recommendation to a hold or accumulate stance. After analyzing the volatility and price movements from the most recent trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, the 22nd of August, we anticipate SOX L to open down by approximately 257 ten thousandths and begin trading at $41.47. We remind you that trading involves a significant risk of losing money. It is important to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions regarding the purchase or sale of securities. You should not base your investment choices solely on the information provided by stockinvest.us. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and take responsibility for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for the exchange traded fund? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day with warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.